What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a fun team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with a Cinderace team that also features Yvelta, Drizzle Kyogre, and Swift Swim Seismitoad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what do I have to do to make you guys subscribe? Seriously, over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, I'm begging you. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off in the top left corner with the one and only Cinderace. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Really, really strong with his Libero uh, ability, so it can actually change typings depending on what move it's using. And then also on top of that, it has a great G-Max move and G-Max form, so I really do like this Pokemon. We have the Soul Vest as item, then we're rocking Pyro Ball, Giga Impact, Bounce, and Sucker Punch, all for stab damage due to its ability. Right next to him is going to be our first restricted mod, and that is going to be Yvelta over here. And I really love Yvelta, but this moveset I've never used before. So we're going to be able to, or we're going to hope that we can rock out with it and grab some wins with it. We got Dark Aurora, obviously, as its ability. We're rocking out with Black Glasses as its item, you know, to give it that special attack boost. And then we got Foul Play, Dual Wing Beat, Sucker Punch for first time priority, and Tailwind on a Yvelta for speed control. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I have not seen a Tailwind on Yvelta yet, so this is going to be a first for me. Middle left is the one and only Kyogre. We got Drizzle, the Wave Incense to make our water damage do more. We got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Right next to him is going to be his best friend. We got Swift Swim Size Potato. They pair up perfectly. Size Potato is going to be able to double his speed in the rain, alongside with that Life Orb, giving it an extra boost of damage for its item. We got Liquidation for Stab, EQ for Stab, and then we got our coverage move of Power Whip and Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is my boy Tapu Koko with that Focus Sash and the Surge Control with its ability Electric Surge. We got Thunderbolt and Dazzling Gleam both for Stab, E Web for Speed Control, and then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Intimidate Pokemon. This Intimidate Pokemon does not get that much love. We got Hitmontop over here with Intimidate and the Citrus Berry as I am. I really do like this dude's moveset because it kind of uh, it kind of counteract a lot. We got the Close Combat for big stab damage. We got the Quick Guard to protect us for first turn priorities. That could definitely come in clutch depending on who we verse. Then we got the Fake Off for flinches and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. So I really do like this Pokemon's moveset and I feel like it's going to be very like versatile and coming in at certain situations to actually pick us up the win. So. Hopefully get to use that Pokemon, use him to his fullest potential, and grab some wins with that guy. But guys, there's team preview. If you want to rent this team for yourself, the rent code is right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Yvelta, Kyogre, and Swift Swim Seismitoad team. We're hopping in battle number one, and this one's looking scary for us. We're going up against a heavy Trick Room team with Palkia, Incineroar, Calyrex, Amoongus, Dusclops, and Tapu Fini. Trick Room is definitely a hard counter for us. We have nothing to counteract Trick Room. I'm looking at my team thinking how could we counteract this trigger, and it is looking tough. It is definitely looking tough, but how should I go into this one? How should I play? I could go for a fake out turn one. Just fake out whatever Pokemon he wants to go in with a uh, Tailwind, and kind of roll out from there. Well, not Tailwind, whatever Pokemon he wants to go into trick room with. We'll see. We'll see, because this thing's 107 speed. That should be faster than the So You know what? I'm going to lead him on top. Try to get rolling with that boy. Uh, Who else should I lead here? I could lead the Kyogre. Kyogre is not bad for a nice little lead here. But Palkia could pop a trick room. We do not like Palkia, dude. Palkia can definitely do me dirty. I could go in with... He's probably going to pop it with... What's it called? This is awful. This is awful. I do not know what to do. I could go here and here. Kind of liking that. Kind of liking that. Bring you in the back end, and then last but not least... We gotta go Cinderace. Cinderace is just too good. But yeah, this one's going to be so tough for us. It really is. Honestly, it this not, I don't think we'll win this battle. <laughs> I do not think we'll win this battle. Like, dude, this Trick Room team looks like it looks like it's just gonna dominate us. It just looks like it's just gonna go off and take us all out. It's gonna be nutty. It is gonna be nutty. But before we actually hop into the first battle, you guys know. Question of the day: What are your favorite Switch games besides Pokemon? There are plenty of great Switch games. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. I always love Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. I also love Mario Kart. They're all very good games. All very good games. He's going to end up leading uh, Finny alongside with Palkia. And he could Dynamax Palkia. It could be scary. Or, or he's just going to pop a Trick Room. I think he just pops a Trick Room, right? I think he's just dropping a Thunder on the Palkia, trying to get a Paralyze and kind of going from there. That'd be solid. Drizzle's going to poke. We're going to set the rain, the lovely little rain. We're going to go from there. Oh, we're going to go from there. You do not have Snarl. Snarl would work wonders for us. Right? It definitely would, but I have it on the Chewbacca. This thing's gonna pop seeds, right? Is that Missy Seeds? Missy Seeds coming out here for a special defense boost. That's huge for me. That is huge. We could drop a Thunder, but I kind of want to 
What do I want to do? We know we we actually know we can't uh We know we cannot counteract Trick Room. So you know what? I'm just gonna thunder onto this thing. And let's swap. I could hard swap here. Could hard swap into Sizey. Now you know we'll stay in here for a little bit. I'm gonna fight and I'm going to use bum, 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 bum. what do I want to use? Foul play? Who wing beat would probably be our best bet. I'm gonna double down into this uh, top of finish slot. Let's see how this one plays. Who wing beat's gonna fly? Uh, and we're we'll just chipping up a little bit of damage. I would rather have Oblivion Wing. Oblivion Wing just works wonders. Tiger's gonna go next. We're gonna drop a thunder. And this I think it might be able to pick up KO here. Super effective. Big old damage, right? Get him out of here? Cool. We dropped top of Finny, but the real problem here is, is that Palka going for Trick Room? If it goes for Trick Room, it's pretty much Jesus, right? There it is, yeah. Oh my lord, dude, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. I can't deal with it. He's gonna bring out Calyrex. He's Dynamaxing. Psh, tough news for us. Real tough news for us. Real tough news for us. We do not like it. There it is. Oh, yo, look at this thing. <laughs> this is awful. It's awful. He's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna drop the Ice Move onto me. Already see this coming from my own. Hmm. You're not. Should I Dynamax him? I'm thinking of Dynamax and Kai over here. Probably your best bet, right? Geysering and. I really want to go for a Sucker Punch. But I know it's going to proc policy. I mean, he's going in for Yavelta anyway, right? He's got to be going after Yvelta anyway, so I'm going to Sucker Punch and get off as much damage as I possibly can. That's my plan. Is he not Dynamaxing? I don't think he's Dynamaxing. That's my character. This could be good. He might be going for Glacial Lance, double down to Kyogre. So this Dynamax could be really beneficial for us. No, he's not. I thought he was going to drop the Hailstorm. So this means we're going to probably take out his Calyrex. Then I'll probably Dynamax Palkia next turn. See how this one plays. No, he is Dynamaxing. He must be Dynamax Palkia. He must be Dynamax and Palkia. I'm with that all day. I'm with him Dynamax and Palkia all day. Yep. Palkia does get Dynamax. Kai Ogre outspeeds Palkia right now, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to get off the first turn priority shot. So he's looking to just drop a Glacial Lance with uh with his Kylex. We're going to be able to get off a Sucker Punch if he's not protecting, right? Is he protecting? Oh my lord. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so much. Actually, that's not too bad. But he's going to be able to suck up some shots here. Guys, he's gonna fly here. He's gonna be able to soak that up, but it is gonna chip up some damage. And I wonder if a sucker punch could take this thing out after this. He might be able to. That's looking. I don't know. This stab, guys, he's gonna fly here. Can you? Develta should be able to eat that. Develta should be able to eat that. Oh, no, it's in range. Palkia hits hard. And is that thing orbed? If I had to guess it's probably orbed, right? It's not orbed. It's not orbed. It is not. So from here, I could definitely just bring out you. Hop into a sucker punch. I could pull out you as well. We're not too shabby here. What do I want to do? What is this jeans player? here? Do I save my Cinderace here? Or do I send my Cinderace? Tough calls, man. The calls are tough. Hmm. So we swap Cinderace. Oh, you know what? Oh, what do I want to do? Uh, we're gonna go into Cinderace here. This good sucker punch can just do so much damage. I really, really wanna wanna send that sucker punch. I'm gonna send that sucker punch that way. Um, do I do I count on sucker punch KO? I mean, I'm gonna lightning into him just in case sucker punch does end up picking the KO. It's just it's just a solid. Let's see, unless he reads the sucker punch again and just goes to like a protect or like non-hitting move but we have to start we have to start dumping on this dude we have to start dealing some damage solid battle definitely a real solid battle trick room has a couple more turns left the palkia might be able to outspeed my size toad without trick room if we don't have rain out could be a problem could definitely be a problem but we're just looking here both our dynamics pokemon haven't been touched any withdrawal him. so what a play by that and who's he gonna go into what pokemon are you flying into he's gonna go into wow we should why didn't we geyser Geyser would have been gorgeous. Geyser would have been gorgeous. Now we know just to send a geyser in that slot. Sucker Punch gonna get blocked anyway. Or fail. Whatever. Lightning's gonna fly out here. That guy with a huge swap. Dude, Geyser could have just ripped into that thing. Geyser could have just ripped. 
And what's he going for? Is he going for a geyser of his own? Because now it's still super effective. We're still fire. He's going for Palkia. He might be going for just a, what's it called? The swap with the Jack Bond. So we just, okay, that was a smart play by him. He's going to go back into Calyx. Now I can protect Calyx. You know that. I'm just going to lightning into the, uh, the Palkia slot this turn. Kills Nikali. Solid battle. What's he going for? Is he geysering? He's going to warm one. Probably play by him. Get that attack drop on the Cinderace. And deal a little bit of damage. Okay, so there's that turn. Uh, Trick Room's coming to a close. He's coming to a close. So again, he could protect the Calyrex. No problem. Do I read that? I could definitely read that. Drop a nice lovely. I'm going to drop a lightning in this slot. I really want to swap. I want to swap so bad. I really want to swap. Two more turns left in Trick Room. Minus two. Really want to swap. Which I am going to do. I'm going to swap into size with here. Save my Cinderace for the back end. I just think it's going to be a play because Trick Room ends. And we're going to need a Pokemon like Cinderace to come out here and outspeed a lot of these guys. So this guy might actually protect his Calyrex. But he might not do to us be minus two. Dude, this is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. Let's see what he does. Please protect Calyrex. That'd be awesome. He does. Okay, cool. So we get the free swap out here. Free swap on the Cali. Or free swap on the Cinderace, and then we get a nice little max landing here. Chip up some damage, but this boy's just gonna soak. And look at that. That's easy soak. Palkia's pretty bulky to begin with. Then he has a special defense boost on top of him. So he's gonna go for the geyser. That's fine. Size you should be able to eat that. Of course you don't. Of course you don't, Size Method. You get absolutely ripped up on. That's so tough because I really need it. Oh. I really need that. I really needed that. But from here, we can bring back out you. And ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm gonna predict the swap. He has to swap, right? I want to protect so bad, but I can't protect my. Uh, I can't protect my what's it called? I cannot protect my uh, my Cinderace. Stuff from this. Stuff from this. But we're just gonna go Origin Pulse. I'm gonna predict the swap coming out from him. If he swaps, I could just go into. I could bounce. But... How many turns left in Rain, dude? How long has Rain been out on the floor for? One more turn left in Rain. One more turn left in Rain. So we're gonna go here. Uh, what do I do from here? Might as well hit up on that Palkia, right? Let's sucker punch that Palkia. I'm gonna sucker punch the Palkia. I'm gonna predict a swap from the Calyx, right? He's gotta swap that Calyx. He has got to swap that Calyx. Go for that Intimidate on my Cinderace. He already did it. I can definitely see it happening. Yep, there's a swap. Bang, Incineroar's coming out here. We're gonna be able to take him out to a Origin Pulse. And Trick Room is over, which is really good for us. Really, really good. But Rain ends as well. Rain ends as well. Second Punch comes through. And I'm going to switch my typing. And we're going to deal a little bit of damage onto this uh, Palkia. Just a little bit. Better than nothing. Or is your Pulse going to fly next? We're going to say bye bye to uh, Incineroar. And we're going to chip up some more damage onto this Palkia, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Okay, so Palkia is such a threat. Such a huge threat. This is tough. That was coming down to the wire. Hydro Pumps can come in here, and my boy dodges it. That's a huge dodge. That is an insanely huge dodge. RNG definitely on our side there. Trick Room is over with. Um, at this point, I'm just going to send... He's going to protect Cali, right? <laughs> definitely going to protect Calyrex. Do we read it? Do we read him protecting Calyrex here? Let's not play. So tough. Do we read him protecting Calyrex? Oh my lord. I really want to read him protecting Calyrex. But I definitely want to Thunder on this slot and hope that it hits. That's the best bet. Oh, he's going to protect Calyrex. I know it. Actually, dude, we read it already. We made two reads already. Maybe he's like, yo, this guy's just reading me like a book. I'm not going to protect Calyrex. So, you know, I'm going to drop the Pyro Ball and pose a threat. That's my play all day. Pyro Ball comes in here. He does not protect. Yo, that's huge, yo. Jeans is making reads all day. Pyro Balls can come in here. Should take him out. We are minus one, but yeah, it should just finish this in, right? No, of course, that thing bulks it out. He bulks it out. We, we proc policy. And we proc policy. I think bulks it out. That is nutty. Thunder's going to come through here. Actually, he's going to go first with Spatial Ren. And can you eat that? No crit? Cool. Love you. Love you. Thunder's going to come through here. It's going to connect. Can we take out, get a crit? Paralyze him at least, something along those lines. Give me para. Give me para. No para. Here comes the Glacial Lance. Oh no. We no likey. 
This is tough. That's GG's. Pacquiao's gonna be able to outspeed. No. No. What a battle. What a battle. Dude, I can't believe that power ball didn't take out. I thought Cinderace had had it in him. I thought Cinderace had it in him. That's tough. I would have known that. I would have went into an origin pulse that turn. Would have went into an origin pulse, but we have to drop an origin pulse here. Hopefully, maybe Palkia misses, but yeah, that's pretty much GG's, right? Palkia's just gonna drop a space for Not looking good. No bueno. No bueno. But yo, what a first battle. We definitely outmuscled a lot more than I thought I thought we would. Space Rank comes through. There it is, yo. GG's. We're gonna start off 0 1 for today's video. Not a bad battle. We definitely made some great reads. We dug ourselves out of a hole, gave ourselves a shot, but in the end, we just end up losing that battle. Let's look to grab our first victory for today's video, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex and Kiram White team. Longs out Reg Lackey and DD for support, Grim Star for even more support, and then Ferrothorn over here to outbulk some physical attackers. I do not think he brings Ferrothorn. I just think Ferrothorn is obsolete up against my team right here. So I think he does definitely bring that Calyrex. We gotta bring our Sucker Punch, boys. We gotta bring both of them. They're just too good. But who do I lead? I'm gonna lead Yabelta just in case we wanna try to pop a Tailwind. That could be really, really good for us. And then I could lead him on top as well. Fake out Tailwind, kind of roll out from there. We also do have quick guard for percent priority moves, but it does not have <laughs> no, so that's fine by me. That's fine by me. So I'm gonna lead you. I kind of mm, do I bring hit my top? Do I lead hit my top? That could be solid. Hit my top could be solid. Allow us to set up that uh, tailwind. We kind of get rolling from there. I'm with it all day. We're gonna lead you. We're gonna bring Kyogre, and then like Bureau of Cinderace is just too good. He's just way too good not to bring. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves from here in battle number two. But do that first battle. If Cinderace had enough in the tank to take that thing out with Pyroball, which I thought he would. I thought he would. We, we First of all, we made a phenomenal read, saying he wasn't going to protect because we read his previous two Calyrex moves. So we're just like, nah, yo, he's thinking we're going to read it again. He's not going to protect, and that's exactly what we did. We got off a huge shot, but it just wasn't enough. We would have taken that thing out. It would have been GG's. It would have been GG's. He's going to end up going into these two guys, and uh, Fake Out is not allowed. Fake Out is not allowed here, so that's tough news for us. Real tough news for us. And he can definitely Dynamax that... Uh, that Kiram, which I do not like. I really want to get off this Tailwind. I really do want to get off this Tailwind. What do I do with Hitmon top here? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Hitmon top is, uh, I mean, this thing's not Psychic Surge. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Um, what do I want to do with you? I can fake out now if I want to. You, I definitely want to set up this Tailwind. Tailwind's going to come out and about. And I want to check that uh, Yvelta's speed here. Is it over 150? It's 120. Sometimes I see faster Yvelta's. Let me see this thing's EV. Let's see your EV investments. Yeah, none in there. It's just full on attack. This thing is an attack now. If I get off this Tailwind, we can roll through here. But I'm going to go there. And I'm just going to fake out. I'm going to at least... I think he Dynamax that Pokemon. I'm going to fake out the Ndidi. I think he Dynamax the Kiram, right? Yeah. So we Dynamax his Kiram. Going to max it, and we make a nice little read there. Hopefully, I don't know if we're gonna be able to outspeed this stuff. I just want to get off this tailwind so bad. This tailwind could be enormous. It definitely be enormous. If I get off tailwind and then you're about to die, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Helping hands can come out here. Oh, you son of a biscuit. The fake guy's gonna do absolutely nothing. The fake guy's gonna come out here. Uh, clap. Yup. Tip up a little bit of damage. And he's gonna go for the hailstorm. Let's take me out. There you go, Velta. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. All right. All right, jeans. We got this one. It's tough. Isn't it? that, that, one, that one hurts the soul. That one definitely hurts the soul. Definitely hurts. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Shows that he's orbed. It's fine. I could change up weather. Weather could come in hot here. But he's just going to start helping Handy kind of roll So I'm thinking of just Dynamaxing this guy. Getting after it that way. Probably my best bet, right? Cinderace, you gotta get the Dynamax here. We're, we're looking for the comeback situation here. We are looking for the comeback. Yeah, you felt the dies early on here. I was hoping maybe a lot speed. But uh, we're gonna Dynamax you, and I could go for the Max Darkness. Probably your best bet. Try to dump on that thing, switch our typing, and then go for a close combat right into this thing. We're looking to just chip up some damage on this thing. We know he's not weak to this policy. We know he's not light. Well, we know he's light forward. We're gonna go from here. The follow me could definitely come out here, but if it does, we're, we're Max Darknessing on that, that Pokemon anyway, so. I'm with it. I am indeed with it. But Cinderace needs Dynamax here. We're going to save her Kyogre for the back end. Just to get some work done. But dude, Shadow Rider Kyogre could definitely come out here. 
and do some work now because all we have left is Cinderace. And we're going to need Cinderace to Sucker Punch to kind of take that thing out. I mean, Origin Pulse could do him dirty too. But again, most Calyrexes are sacks, so we're going to need two turns. Usually you ain't getting two shots off on a Calyrex unless you have first turn priority moves. He's going to go for the follow me. That's, that's money. I'm cool with it. I was planning on that anyway. We're just hoping this darkness can actually take him out. And I think it can. I definitely think it can because it's stab damage, base 120. But it's super effective. It should be able to take you out. All right, get him out of here. Cool. Get him on out of here. We take that thing out. Can my boy hit my top get off a turn, though? That's a real question. I would love to get a nice little turn off on this thing. Nice, lovely close combat. It'd be gorgeous. He's going to go for the worm one. Oh, that's tough news. Worm one comes out here. He's going to hit up on my cinder. And cinder's going to be able to soak, but minus one. On both of my physical attackers. Oh, Both my physical attackers. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. He's gonna take a bit more life for damage. Can we get a crit here? Yeah, I didn't send it that way. I bad damage. Chipping up a good bit, but definitely does me dirty. Definitely does me dirty. But from here, I think I'm just gonna airstream. I think I have to double into that Kirim, try to take him out. Wait, double in the Kirim, take him out? Probably a play. Airstream. Close combat. I think it can't take him out. We'll see. Hit my top soon as a little strut, and I wonder who he's gonna bring out here. Hopefully, someone my Kyrie can just, you know, just, just dump on. Probably gonna be Kyrie. It's gonna be Grimmy. It's gonna be Grimstone. I'm kinda cool with Grimstone. Here, we're going definitely airstream into you. I'm going close combat. We're doubling down this Pokemon all day. We are doubling down, because if we can take him out, I don't really see Grimstone taking out any of my Pokemon. Besides, maybe hit him on top with the Spirit Break. But a Reflect could do us dirty. A Reflect could do us so bad. This thing's Rock and Reflect. Ooh. I wouldn't like it one bit. We're hoping that thing's like... I don't know. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go for a scary face. And it does not affect me. I'm dark typing. He does not... He does not understand that I was dark typing. <laughs> That's a huge scary face. That's a huge miss. Now we airstream. We chip up some damage. Close combat. I need you here. I need close combat to take this thing out here. I need close combat here. I need close combat to do him dirty. Quake's gonna come in here. And we switch to flying. That is gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. And oh my god, we put this thing on one. Get out my face. We put that thing on one. Out my face, dude. <laughs> we put that thing on one, yo. We dodge a scary face and a quake in one turn by switching typings. That is lovely. Nothing better. Nothing better. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna sucker punch with uh my boy him on top. Gotta do that all day. I'm sure G Max Fireball. Right into the slot. Sucker punch coming in hot. Coming in hot. Wow. That's awesome. Sucker Punch comes through. Uh, later. Later. We take out you. Cinderace going to go next. G-Max Fireball can do some big old damage. Scary Face can come in here now. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We have Sucker Punch just ready to roll here. G-Max Fireball coming in here. Yo, we swap typing so perfectly. I was not expecting him to go for a Quake. But we switched to Flying, which is gorgeous. We go into here. Big old damage. We love it. We love that damage. We love that damage. Buffett's going to go all around. Um... He has one more Pokemon in the back end. We're hoping it's Calyrex. I'm kind of hoping it's Calyrex. Just Sucker Punch. Gorgeous. Sucker Punch could just be lovely, you know? Let's see what he goes into. He does go into Calyrex. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And oh, Buffets are out too. Buffets are out. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. All right. Uh, Sucker Punch definitely from Cinder. Gonna go into you, and from here, I'm just gonna get close combat into you. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close combat into you. I wonder what he's gonna do here. I wonder what he's gonna do. Two Pokemon with Sucker Punch ready to rock. This is the money. This is why I brought these boys. I had three Pokemon with Sucker Punch, to be honest. <laughs> three of them. He's gonna end up protecting Calyx. I'm cool with that. Who's he gonna go for a takeout here with? Sucker Punch can come through here. Block. Close combat comes through. And we do take him out. That's a huge turn for us. GG's. GG's. Sucker punch, sucker punch. Sucker punch, sucker punch, sucker punch. That's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. And it is game over. Get this fool out of my face. Get this fool out of my face. He's done. He's done for. He is done for. Yo, what a second battle. What a second battle. He definitely had the upper hand once he took out my Yvelta. But Ty's really turned when uh, I dodged the scary face with, by being dark. And then switched to flying and dodged his max quake. Right after that, we just took we just took the battle in our hands. Sucker Punch comes out here, brings him down to yellow. My boy's gonna go next. Sucker Punch can come out here again. We're gonna switch to dark and we're gonna say, Ayo, Cinderace. We're not Cinderace. Ayo, Calyrex. 
Get out my game. Double sucker punch for the win. One and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. It's time for that winning record. We're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against a Yabelta and Zassi team that also features Storm Drain Gaston, who he is 100% bringing. 1000% he's definitely bringing with, with my Kai Ogre and my Swift Swim Boy. He's definitely bringing that. He also has the Clefairy and then the Regilek. Okay. How am I playing this one? He's definitely bringing Storm Drain Gaston. And I think I'm going to actually lead. I think I'm going to lead the Swim combo. And the reason I say that this is because I want to force him to actually bring out Gashon, and I want to dump on it with a uh, Power Whip or a Grass Move from Size Potato. So I'm really, really liking this turn. This first turn, I'm loving it. I said we get more. Just liking it a lot. I'm going to lead them too. I definitely want to bring Yavelta. And then last but not least, do I get Tapu Koko some love in here? Tapu Koko is not too shabby, but it's just like, dude, there's so many better Pokemon. I would love to bring my boy right here. I would love to bring him. Yeah, I'm going to bring Cinderace. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record. Or not perfect. A winning record. But yeah, I'm going to try to force him to swap Gashon right off the And take it out with a power whip. So I'm going to... This is my plan. This is my plan. We're going to we're gonna analyze who he has out on the field. And we're going to think, like, who is he going to swap out? And that Pokemon, I'm dropping a max overgrowth into. And we are going to hope that he slips in or swaps into uh, Gashon. Unless he leads Gashon. That could be pretty cool. He does lead Gashon. How you doing, Gashon? That's fine by me. That is fine by me. He could protect Gastro, so I do not want to go into a uh, a water move. I want to go into my grass move, and then I want to go into a thunder over on Yvelta. Let's not play all day. I play all day. I'm loving it. I'm liking it. Thunder dropping here. 100% hitting in the rain. And then we got a four times super effective match. Coming up towards this Gastro. Not dealing with the Gastro. He's probably sitting there like, oh, yo, look at me. I made a great call. Look at me. I made a great call. Nah, yo, we wanted that Gastrodon out there. We wanted that Gastrodon out here. He's probably sitting there like, yes, yo. Read him going into the rain squad. I have Gashon on. I'm sitting good. I'm like, nah, son. We got big boy with coverage grass. Hopefully he doesn't swap Gashon or protect it. Because if not, dude, he's, he's dead. He's a dunzo. He is dunzo. He is dunzo. That's why I don't like the lead Gashon. I like to swap and keep him on their toes, you know? He's going to end up Dynamaxing as well. I don't, I don't know. Is this going to be Gashon? It's got to be Yvelto. I think it's got to be Yvelto. Because if it is, that's actually good for us. Because we have a high chance of paralyzing him. This is going to be Yvelto. Yvelto is going to come through here. Okay. Yeah, we have a high chance of paralyzing this with a, uh, with a what's it called? With a thunder. We're going to hope we actually land that. Let's see what he does. He's going to protect. Does not protect. Overgrowth coming out perfectly. Later, Gashon. Get on out of my face. Get on out of my game, dude. We're not dealing with him. Beautiful. Big time KO there. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, Yvelto's probably going to go for an airstream. Try to start taking a bit of more speed onto the field. That's why I'm going to really hope that we get this back. We get rid of that Gashra. That's huge for us. That is enormous. He's going to go for the Airstream, like I said. Probably into Kyogre. Yeah, into Kyogre. Kyogre's going to be able to soak. We're going to be able to get off this huge Thunder. Thunder's going to be able to poke. Let's get ripping. Let's get ripping. The Belta might be able to outspeed my, uh, my Seismitoad now, but we'll see. Thunder comes out here. Give me the power. Give me the power. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, no power. What you mean? I never get the powers. I never get the powers. Okay, so Yvelta's probably... I don't know if Seismitoad is faster. I'll say he's about... I'll say he's 130 speed. I'll say he's 130 speed plus that one boost. Oh, wow. That's scaring me a little bit. But I want to see my, my boy's speed. I want to see my Seismitoad speed. We're obviously going to go for the Quake. 126. Wow. Never mind. He's, he should be faster. And the Rainy's double. That's uh, He should be faster. Uh, what other Pokemon does he have? I want to see his team because I don't want him to swap into a flying Pokemon. And he has no flying Pokemon. This is gorgeous for us. This is gorgeous. He probably has Zasty in the back end who he does not want to swap into with a fake flying figure. So from here, we're just going to Thunder again. Try to land that. And we're just going to drop another Quake. We're well, not another Quake. Our first Quake. Get a special defense boost and get off some big damage on the Regilek. But I think we outspeed, right? Yeah. Regilek, get out of my game, dude. He's got to be Sash, though. 100% got to be Sash. We go. He is Sash. He is Sash, but huge damage. More importantly, we get that great special defense boost. And now if he's going for a, what's it called? If he's going for an Airstream. My boy should be able to eat that up. My Kyogre should be able to eat up an airstream now. Or whatever move he's going after with his special defense boost. This could be big. This could be big. E oh, never mind. I forgot about the e -web. I forgot about the E-Web coming here. Never mind. My boy Kyogre's dead. <laughs> My boy Kyogre's dead. He's going to drop speed on us. And maybe he might be going after Seismito thinking that was going to take him out. And now he's going to change up weather. You should be able to eat that. You should be able to eat that. Let's go. Yo, land this thunder. Land this thunder. He changes up weather. I'm going to change back. I'm going to change it back here. 
I'm gonna definitely change back. Land is thunder. Let's go. Paralyze this thing. Give me a para. Give it to me. Give me the para. There it is. Well, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for the paralyze. That's huge paralyze. From here, I'm just gonna drop a geyser with a uh, seismic toad. Take out uh take out Regilecki here. And change weather back into our favor. Reset the rain actually. That's huge for us. That's huge for us. So Origin Pulse can actually fly. We can land it, and then we're just gonna go for it. Hey, who do I take out here? We have Cinderace with Sucker Punch in the back end. Take out pretty much either of these guys. You know, I'm just gonna take out Yvelt though. We're gonna say bye bye to Yvelts. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna withdraw Yvelt. Okay. Cool with that. He withdraws and who's he gonna go into? Zassian? Zassian has gotta be his final mod. I don't mind sending out guys who are on Zassian. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Zassian comes out here. Bye bye me. Interpret Swords gonna poke here. And we're resetting this weather all the way. E-Web's flying. That's gonna be able to take out Kai over here. But Seismic Toad's just chilling here. Looking really good. Seismic Toad now outspeeds. He can't change weather back. Mwah. We love this turn. We love this turn, yo. We love this turn, dude. Swift Swift Seismic Toad has been phenomenal. Series 12. Really has been. Such a good Pokemon. But there's a nice little geyser. Doing decent amount of damage for in the in the heat in the drought. More importantly, I did that to take speed control here. Because now we're sitting here. Um hmm. What's my player? What is my play? I have Yvelta in the back end, so I'm just gonna go Yvelta. And then I'm just, just gonna EQ, right? Freely EQ without hitting my Yvelta. Take out the Regilecki. Deal some big damage onto that uh onto that Zassian, and then just foul play across, and that's that's game over, right? That's game over! Jeans is rolling. He's playing no games today. He's playing no games today. Not one. Not one single game we are playing. Except for in battle number one. We're playing, we're playing a little bit of games. We end up losing that battle, but dude, we're thriving. Battle play is going to poke here. Get off some big damage, and EQ is just going to... EQ is just going to do him dirty. EQ with your belt on the field. I love it. Best is on the field. We got rain for five more turns. Pretty much the rest of the battle. Woo! Your boy is on. I'm on today. Feeling good. I do. I've been getting better and better every single time I record this game. And I love it. I love bringing you guys some good content. I love winning for you guys. Hope you guys do enjoy. You guys know the deal. Hit that like button if you are enjoying. If you're not subscribed, dude, hit that subscribe. And I'm surprised, yo. This thing outspeeds my size, dude. Oh, wait. I think it went up plus one. Okay. That, that, that hurts a little bit. That that hurts a little bit. Sorry. EQ still comes out here. Can we take out Yvelta or not Yvelta? Okay. Never mind. That, that, that hurts. This one hurts. We might lose this one now. We might lose this one. Sacred Sword coming. We should be able to eat that, right? Work. Good work. Okay. Uh, the problem here is going to be... Uh, it's going to be that Yvelta with Sucker Punch. And we're going to have to Sucker Punch into him, right? We're going to have to Sucker Punch into him. We're going to have to drop an EQ. Wow. This battle. <laughs> Every time I start talking good, dude. I think it's paralyzed, so it is slow. We're scared of the sucker punch, so I have to I have to take first turn priority into him. I have to go first turn priority in him into him and I have to go for this EQ. I don't want him sucker punching my size but to take me out, you know? It's just not worth it. So I'd rather sucker punch in that slot, get off the EQ, and then this guy cannot hit double hitting me. Actually, dude, this one's gonna be Ooh, this one's we do have sucker punch. Never mind, we should be fine. We should be fine. The way I'm looking at this, we should be fine. I'm looking at Cinderace should be able to sucker punch, take out Yveltal. EQ can come in here, maybe take out Zassian, maybe not, and then if it doesn't, we have sucker punch to clean this one up. And then if he takes out Cinderace, then I, then my size potato outspeeds take him out. Okay. Unless he's rocking quick attack. He's gonna protect you. Okay. Pretty smart play. It's actually really smart. Size potato. We need EQ to take take this thing out. Oh, we're gonna take out our own Cinderace. Oh no. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. We did not take out Cinderace. Okay, cool. Phew! <laughs> Phew! We take out Zassian. That's gorgeous. And we should be thriving here. We have Sucker Punch ready to roll. We're going to Liquidation all, on top of that. Ori has no double hitting moves, right? We might as well just not rely on Sucker Punch to take that thing out. We might as well just go into Liquidation and like a Pyro Ball. Or like, uh. Actually, Sucker Punch probably your best bet, right? Yeah, yeah. What do I bounce? Or Giga Impact. We're going, we're going Giga Impact. <laughs> yeah, Giga Impact into Liquidation. Finish this battle up. We're not sucker punching. Leave me alone. Battle was canceled. There it is, yo. Two and one. We grab ourselves that beautiful winning record.
This team right here was definitely better than what I expected to be. The first battle was obviously tough. I even said it before we even started. I said Trick Room team is going to do us dirty. And that's exactly what we what happened in battle number one. He got off Trick Room and we actually put up a really good fight up against it. A really good fight. Came down to the wire. His Calyrex just uh, did some big damage on us in the end. And uh, soaked up a Cinderace shot. We ended up losing that battle. But second and third battle, we played perfectly. Made some great reads. Made some great calls. Dynamax at the perfect time and just roll out from there and grab ourselves two wins for today's video but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody